Yeah, technically, if we want to talk about it, Bartolomeo. <laughs> Bartolomeo almost fucking ruined Luffy's career. You definitely give Judge a decent massive matchup. Oh. <laughs> hey guys, you can't forget about Queen too. Because he, he is supposed. Guys, at Frankie's this point, dad. Queen is confirmed, almost likely confirmed to be Frankie's dad. And then there's Robin's dad. He's Robin's dad's like Jotaro's dad. He's he's not he's non-existent at this point. He's non-existent. At least Zoro's dad died like a badass. Alright, I'm saving the blue coins for, uh, for last, just so the star appears. Because now we gotta get the, the annoying ones. And I suddenly want to die. What troubles you? <laughs> Mario 64. Sorry, I can't help you with that. <laughs> what a donut! <laughs> Sorry, I was only offering. <laughs> your, your Twitter's cooked. Why is it cooked? That auger will be him by warming him to the child support office. <laughs> Vaughn, no, no, dude. Vaughn Auger will teleport Dragon to Luffy. Here's your dad. Here's it's your like Dragon doesn't really care. Oh, so Dragon is competing. Cause uh, he he he'd rather not. He Sabo gives a shit more about Luffy than fucking Dragon does. But Dragon's like, why do you like? Dragon does care, but like. Dragon's like, why the fuck do you care about my son? <laughs> like, he, he doesn't know that Sabo had a brotherly relationship with Luffy. Yeah, no, he kind of does, because that's all he fucking hears. Joe, at this point, Dragon is Sabo's dad. <laughs> <laughs> He's Sabo's adopted dad. <laughs> he is! He is! Dude, Dragon is Sabo's dad. Like, don't fucking tell me he ain't. No, he definitely is. Dude, he Dragon, Dragon acts like his father. Let's be real, Dragon was excited to raise Sabo because he wasn't able to fucking raise Luffy. So he'll raise the next best thing. His blood brother. Here's my question, if they had children in the Revolutionary Army, why didn't they just raise them there? Why, well, because Garp wouldn't let them? No, because the army would've used- and Dragon was smart about this. They would've used them as targets. Yeah. Think about it. Why did you think Dragon well, isolated Luffy? Well, that that also explains it because Kumo was in the army and he didn't let Bonnie in the army. So yeah, that makes sense. Yeah, because they didn't want to. Because they would have done the same fucking... thing to Bonnie. Yes, they would have hunted them down and used them as pawns. Yeah, as like leverage. Yeah. Why do you think Dragon had that conversation with Kumo in the first place? He's like, you might as well kill me. He's like, Kuma, you understand me as a father. Why I left Luffy there. Besides, this revoli this revolution doesn't afford me to be a father. Well, he's trying to save the world at large. Yeah. And now, now the mission is definitely not put on hold anymore. Because I'm fucking Dr. Vegapunk. Vegapunk, what the fuck? <laughs> so I've come to make an announcement, Quasar. <laughs> the world is going to sink another 200 meters. <laughs> and everyone is going, everyone we all love is going to perish. <laughs> but don't worry. It won't, it won't happen right away. As long as someone finds the one piece, Quasar. <laughs> And Dragon's like, you fucking dumbass Vegapunk. It's like, Vegapunk, you gotta be fucking kidding me. You're telling me this one thing that Dragon found is the low... And, and Dragon's thinking like, you gotta be kidding me. So Roger found this out and he did nothing. <laughs> Even Whitebeard found out he did nothing. 
Dude, Whitebeard is just as guilty as fucking Roger. Because he had the power and the crew to do something. But nah, man's like, nah, I just want to die with my kids. <laughs> gotta be kidding me. You gotta be kidding me, Whitebeard. There we go. Star 73. Let me grab this. And we're out. So I was Dire Dire Docks, Shifting Sandland, Lethal Lava Land, Hazy Mave Cave, Big Blue's Haunt, Cool Cool Mountain, Jolly Roger Bay, uh, Womps Fortress, Bomb Mall Battlefield, and 10 Secret Star. And 10 Secrets. Okay. So we're done with the basement. All right, guys, you know what this means. To the attic we go, or the second floor, actually. So the thing is, this staircase, I'm just going to open this up. If you didn't have enough stars, this staircase would have been never ending. I believe. Alright, so that's the next course. It's also a chorus. Hold on. It's going. Yeah, so that was the 10th. Oh, uh, so the one we jumped into, that was the 12th. This is the 11th? Mm -hmm. Where's the 10th? 10th what? The 10th world! Missing something? Uh, Where's the tenth? Uh, okay, so that's number eleven. No, you can.
Wait. There it is. World 10. Snowman's Land. Which we will create a save point. Thank you guys so much for watching Let's Play Mario 64. And I'll see you guys later with Snowman's Land. Bye guys, and stay crispy.